Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're taking a better look at the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0. On the previous first look video, I told you guys I didn't really understand the concept of the shoe. I mean, to be honest, these look like grease at the bottom of a bucket of chicken. But of course, the shattered backboard concept is from back in 1985 when Michael Jordan went ahead and just shattered the backboard for the one time. And you know, that's really where the upper comes from, just that shattered glass. Official colors of the shoe are going to be pale vanilla, black upper, and then obviously the starfish orange. They're set to release October 26th. Retail's gonna be $160, which ain't too bad. But things can always change. We are a month out from the release. For all I know, Jordan Brand could just switch it up and call these the high cholesterol ones, you know? They just be like that sometimes. Everyone claims to hate these, you know? Puke emoji, can't hold my food down. But honestly, after having them in hand, my opinion has changed so much. I actually like them, man. They're super clean. I like the fact that Jordan Brand really went crazy. They gave us something that we haven't seen before, and I salute them for that. And just based on the materials and the fact that they did something like this, I expect these to be limited, which I guarantee is gonna turn everyone that said they hated these into fans for a fact. And those same people are gonna be mad when they drop on Sneakers app and the app crashes and you can't get them. I'm still salty about the waffle release, man. I didn't even get to enter the draw. I still think the timing of this is just perfect, especially being around that Halloween time. That's my favorite holiday. And you know, the one thing that I really like about these is they're gonna be so easy to clean just because you do have that patent leather material. And also you don't really have to worry about those creases. If anything, it'll make the shoe look better in my opinion. Now, as far as the sizing goes on these, man, it's your standard Jordan 1 size. Just go true to size. There's been a lot of patent leathers that I've had in the past with this, the gold toes or you know the DSM ones. They ran a little bit tighter and I think it's just because of that patent leather and just really the shoe was not breathable. So I think it's great for the fall time when it's a little chillier out because your feet aren't gonna be sweating. And in my opinion, after trying them on, I think they're one of the more comfortable patent leather shoes that I own in my collection. Now, more importantly, you know, styling these is gonna be super simple. I like to wear all black for the most part. So, you know, that's a done deal, especially with the black and orange. On top of that, you know, we got the Denver Broncos here, so it just goes perfect, especially when they bring out those black and orange jerseys. I really think if a lot of you got to see these in the and it would change your opinion a lot. Hopefully this video does it justice. I shot today's video in 4K, man, so hopefully that helps you out. Make sure you stream it on 4K. Turn the settings up, make sure the quality is A1. And most importantly, let's get into that on foot. there you guys have it let me know your thoughts down below is this gonna be something that you're gonna pick up or is it just disgusting to you man is it the most disappointing Jordan 1 as I said in the previous video of 2019 and let me know what you guys think about if these are limited tell me the resale won't be crazy and they're gonna be hyped like for a fact it's always a shoe like this that we usually hate on and then for some reason the hype gets the best of us and we like damn these are actually fire but I'm telling you guys in hand completely different perspective versus the images and I rock with them I really do that's all I have for you guys today if you enjoyed the review make sure to hit that thumbs up lets me know to keep putting out them early videos but this is your boy sneaker life I'll catch you guys in the next one running
same lust for revenge pushed him to and beyond the limit where normal men would fall.